Hey Ignite, David Reese. Listen, today I want to talk to you about a really important topic, and that is gray market materials in dentistry. Now, this is important, it's huge, huge important for all of dentistry, but young dentists, especially for you, because you're so accustomed to purchasing things online, that it's important to understand the lay of the land in dentistry. Not all online is bad, but not all online is good. So when it comes to gray market, I want to get a couple things out of the way. First, I don't care which products you use in your practice. This is not about clinical dentistry right now. I also don't care who you purchase them from. So which distributor or if you work with a direct manufacturer that comes right to you, it doesn't matter to me. It's not the point of this video. The point of this video is this. We're going to use this as an example so it's totally neutral. Tropicana orange juice. When Tropicana makes OJ, they make it a certain way. They package it a certain way. They distribute it a certain way. There are authorized dealer distributors. So they know as a manufacturer of orange juice, and you and I know as consumers of Tropicana orange juice, what we're getting, AKA what's inside this bottle, that it's safe for us to drink. It's got a certain nutritional value based on what Tropicana promised you and I. Now, when it comes to gray market and purchasing things online, one of three things happen. And the lure to you, especially as a young dentist, is cost, right? So you look to another company and say, oh, I can buy Tropicana orange juice from China. And instead of costing three bucks, it costs me $1.50. And why should I pay three bucks when it costs $1.50 if I buy it through China or India or some other country, it doesn't matter where. So when you look at that, I understand why financially it looks so attractive. Now, sometimes in truth and in reality, the Tropicanas of the world are trying to get market penetration in a new country. So yes, on occasion, you will find Tropicana orange juice sold through another country at a lower cost than you can get it here in the US and it's the same Tropicana juice. If that's the case, win, right? You get the juice, somebody makes a little bit more money from another country, but at the end of the day, everybody's safe, everybody's happy, tastes good, woo, we're good. The problem is, that's only one option. Option number two is the same Tropicana juice was sold in mass quantity, but it wasn't housed, stored, or transported the same way Tropicana approved the juice to be housed, stored, or transported, AKA that little expiration date on it no longer applies. So imagine it's not juice, imagine it's bonding agent, and we think it's going to work, but it doesn't because we overheated it, we stored it for too long, we've done both, and that's why it's less expensive. So that's one bad option. The worse option than that is, instead of us buying this when we're online through an unauthorized distributor, we buy this. And then somebody at some company does this. And they sell us counterfeit Tropicana orange juice. So if you looked at the chemistry in this OJ and the counterfeit model, or we compared it in the dental space and we said there were eight active ingredients that made this what it is, we would find that maybe only one or at best two of those eight ingredients are actually in it. But somebody took their label, they counterfeited it, and really what you're buying is this. And that's why instead of three bucks, it costs $1.50. So there's three things that can happen. You get the real deal, you get the, meal, the real deal that was mishandled, or you just get a brand new deal that's not a deal in any way, shape, or form. My question to all of you is this. How do you know? How do you know which one you're getting? So if you're thinking about your family at home and you're thinking about Trapicana orange juice, for example, and you weren't promised to be getting what you bought, either because this was misstored or mishandled and it was no longer safe for you to drink what Tropicana promised you, 
Would you drink it or give it to your child to drink? Worse, if someone promised you this and they gave you this and you had no idea what was in it, would you drink it or give it to your child to drink? Guys, if the answer is no, I'm here to tell you there's no real good way to figure out if it's the real deal, the real deal mishandled, or it's no deal at all. Be careful what you're purchasing. Be careful what you're putting in your patient's mouth. At the end of the day, it's just you and me with our patient. Nobody's gonna pick up the other end of that phone when they've sold you a $3 bottle of orange juice for $1.50 when it was mistreated or it wasn't even the Tropicana orange juice that you thought it was in the first place. I hope this helps you guys. It's such an important message in dentistry. Stay tuned, we'll have more great stuff to follow. Cheers, guys.